guys, Brett here. Welcome back to Out of War. Here we are for episode number three. We're going to start attacking this coal vein now. We've got a little setup over here, which is purely just going to send dirt, pay dirt, um, coal into here, collect it in there, and then we'll um, open the container, see what's in there, and sell from there. Um, our truck's in storage for now. Um, just taking it all the way over here is such a long process with such little equipment, so I'm going to see how this goes for us. Um, whether it's going to be more worthwhile doing it this way. So obviously we're not going to be able to wash any of this dirt or anything like that, but um, if there's any pay dirt in it, we're pretty much just going to lose it, but that's fine. Like I'm not overly stressed about that, so. Alright, let's get all this tip straight in. Try not to lose too much of it if we can. It's all precious black gold. Right, so I want to try and keep it not overly steep, getting down under this coal vein, but I also want to get underneath the whole thing. So we'll just sort of get a ramp down into it, get a decent sort of face, and then go from there. Right, so last episode we had a bit of trouble with um, the excavator, so... Not going to use one of those again for a little while. I think we're going to wait till we get the much bigger equipment. I think that's going to be sort of where we aim to come back and look at the excavators again. We're so much better. I think we need bigger tyres on this thing. Need to widen out the ramp a little bit as well. Right, let's have a look at that now. So we're not selling anything at the moment. We've got to keep an eye on that money. Store. Uh, no parts. Let's go wheels. Chained rock tyre. Do we need chained? I don't think we need chained. Ooh, level 5. We haven't got that yet. Looks like we've got to keep digging for a little while. And then we'll come back and get that when we need it. Right, so keep... Just widening this out a little bit more. I think that's going to be wide enough. Ooh, can we get underneath that? We can. Beautiful. Definitely done a little bit of work on the the physics of the dirt. Just need to be careful now. We don't widen it too much and make it too hard for us to get in and out of the hole. So it's going to be a lot of loader work at the moment, but I just feel like the loader's way better. Like, we can't go and use underground equipment just yet. We've got to get up to, like, little level 40 or something for that. I mean, I definitely would like to have this series go long enough that we get le hit level 70. And not only that, that we have an open cut and an underground coal mine. Or mine, we have both, not just, not just one or the other. Definitely need some tyres. Probably try not to have it as steep. I don't know if we put in it. Do we build a ramp or not? Out of concrete. I want to try to and avoid using any sort of materials to build things out of unless it's sort of our wash plant side of things. Yeah, we don't want to go too much deeper than that because we're not hitting that top level with the bucket. So I think that's pretty much as deep as I want to go. Right, 1845, our XP. Slowly getting there towards level 5. As I said, we'll just dig for a while and then we'll um, look at selling whatever product we've managed to dig out of the ground. want to get ourselves started here and then we can look at leveling out this ramp 
Alright, so auto saves are working better than what they used to. Sometimes they would work, sometimes they wouldn't. 15 minutes, 30, 45, or an hour, I think. I'm keeping mine at 15 at the moment. Um, I did have a little bit of trouble with our Alaska series. Uh, there were so many times that I went to record content for you guys and I was half an hour in and I went to click on something and the whole game crashed and I lost that whole half an hour and pretty much had to start all over again with recording. So I got a little bit frustrated. A little bit frustrated with it. I haven't had any issues as yet with this new update. So fingers crossed those issues with um, a lot of the crashes are gone. Right, I think we're at that point where we just need to level this ramp out a little bit. Smooth it out. I feel this is way better than the excavator too, because like, the bucket locks in. We don't have to drive the truck anywhere. So if we want to, we can sell the truck and pay off a bit more of our debt. But I don't know if we'll really use it too much more after setting up this sort of process. So I, I don't know what the plan's going to sort of be. Like I would like to be able to spend a lot of time ripping, pushing, stripping dirt to get down to you know, the pay dirt levels and the seams like coal, where it's coal seam, lithium seam or whatever it may be that we find but I want to go down here and just have like a little loader face work this for a while and then we can turn this into maybe a haul road off to the side of the mountain Alright, let's have a look now and see what we've got in storage. So to sell, that's changed a lot as well. So we've got to take it over. So there's not a great deal of pay dirt. Uh, I should say, um, yeah, pay dirt. Dirt, pay dirt. There's a little bit. We've got to go to the bank. And now we've got to go to inventory, I should say. Store, sell, and then move it over store, sell why are you not, oh, I think I've got to get out of this first and look the other direction, there we go, store, sell yeah, there we go, drag it there another 50k level 5 nice a little bit more money right, let's just smooth this out Move this ramp out, and then we'll get back down in, get back in digging again. Alright, nice, let's go. Jump back in. Keep digging. Keep boosting our level. So we are level 5 now, so we can get, actually we get those tyres on, that that would be good. Uh, parts, wheels, let's go. Change rock tyre. Alright, vehicle options, take you off. Throw you on. Back to our normal inventory. Um, don't know what we're going to do with colours. I think we'll just leave it like that for now. But hopefully these rock tyres. Main rock tyres will help us. Get in and out of this hole a little bit easier. Just give us a little bit more traction. Although I don't know if we just need normal rock tires. We don't really need chains. Right, there we go. Let's keep digging. So we made what? Less than 10 minutes we made 50 grand. So the coal seam here is going to be pretty productive for us and a pretty good source of income. So I think it's level, it was level 22 before we get explosives, so we can't even really think about going underground or even trying to go deep and getting into some bedrock because we can't blast the rock anyway. 
It's going to be a lot of this just pay dirt, mining and that sort of stuff at the moment. I think it'll be so nice to pay off our, our loan before we go buying any other equipment. So that way we're not losing money every hour. Maybe every time we hit 100k we'll just pay 100k straight off and then obviously if we need to borrow money for some bigger equipment later we can. I think we have got to try and aim for the bigger loaders. I think sort of my next sort of focus Let's try and pull those rocks back in a little bit. So 13361 experience. I want to see if that changes again as we sort of come in and grab another bucket. 13363, 364. I guess it's working on how much we're actually exposing. I mean, I'd like to use the concrete bricks, that way we know we're staying level the whole way through, but I want it to be more realistic. You guys let me know what you think. Should we build a proper ramp out of dirt, or should we use the concrete that we can actually build a ramp out of? I just want to go flat, and it's so hard to go flat. You can see I'm still digging a huge bloody hole there. Instead of going flat. It's hard. It's hard to try and get flat. Keep it level. Sort of feel like I'm either going one way or the other. Definitely getting some decent sized buckets though. I think these are only 8 tonne buckets. It's definitely way more productive than using the excavator. Must have dropped a little bit of dirt there somewhere. So come back and just level that out a little bit. Yeah, let's just smooth this out. Once again, we'll do the ramp a little bit. I want to sort of start leveling out. Let's look at it. Let's just go buildings. Plenty of views. Bloody expensive. Right there, and let's put it underneath. There we go. Right, then get rid of the top layer and then keep it try and keep it level from there which as you guys know it's very very tough to be able to do it all right done that should give us a little bit of help Put that over there, there we go. Uh, jump in this guy. So even if we overdig it, we're going to need to overdig it a little bit anyway. We sort of dig straight down to there and overdig it a little bit. We're going to need to overdig the back so we can put blocks behind it. Yeah, if we sort of keep it that height the whole way through, it'll, it'll work. You guys, yeah, let me know. Like I said, I want to try and keep it level 
without using blocks, but it's so bloody tough. It really is, it's tough to do it. Obviously at the end, once we get so, oh Jesus, so far through, we'll um, come back and remove all the blocks and then just try and level it out with a dozer and our roll or grader or whatever we happen to use. Right, we probably should have put our hopper back a little bit. It's not as close to the entrance to this little mini pit we've got going on. Bloody popcorn's like crazy too. The ramp's working well though, so can't complain with that. I don't know how wide it's going to be if and when we get bigger loaders. It's going to be quite a lengthy process trying to get through all this coal. A huge amount. Right, so we've got 5999. I'm going to try and listen for that sound again. I don't know if that's... Oh, shit. Every time I hear the little clicking sound in the background, I'm not sure if it's us losing money or if it's the dirt lock doing its thing. Right, before I go anywhere, I'm going to level this out because that's going to cause huge issues. Let's try and bring that up a little bit. There we go. Alright. I don't really want it falling out in the ramp if I can avoid it. Yeah, every time I hear that click, it's another minute and it's more money out of the bank. So we have 49, 83, so we're losing over a grand a minute. Got to keep the pace up with this digging. I'll do another clean out at about 20 minutes and then we'll do another one in about half an hour and then we'll um, finish up for the episode. Hopefully you guys don't mind sort of slower pace, slower progression. Obviously with this new levelling system, that's just pretty much how it's going to be for now. Like we're going to be doing a lot of repetitive, boring sort of stuff and just levelling up, trying to make as much money as we can. So I wonder how many buckets we can get in a minute. Low on fuel, we're going to need to put a fuel bowser down somewhere. We might get two buckets a minute. Need to knock that little side down there a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty much going to be two buckets a minute at this stage, and obviously once we get further in, it's going to be slower and slower. All right, one more bucket, and then we'll um, have a look at how much money we've made with this little bit. We haven't really gone very far at all. 
Another auto save. Wait for it. Oop, no. I thought we'll wait for everything to pop out then. Alright, jump back out. Have a look. Alright, so this is where I sort of want to start getting the next level in. I need some more. Not going to take long to go through them though. That's the problem. It's not like they're overly cheap either. Right, yeah, so we're slowly starting to level it out. This little bit. Just wanted to level the side. Quick level of the ramp again. And check out eight eight. Let's push these in if we can. I don't know why it doesn't just roll in. Right, open container. A three point one of coal. No, we'll just leave everything else in there, I guess. Store, sell, 3.1 of coal. It's nearly 100k. That's really good. All right, bank. We've got a million dollar debt, so let's pay that back. As you can see, it's going to take us quite a while to get that debt paid off. This hole will get it, get this debt paid off. It's just going to be a matter of time. So I'm sort of thinking maybe the next episode will um, go in a time lapse. I haven't done a time lapse yet this series, so it's just going to be pretty repetitive, just digging, trying to stay afloat money-wise. Right, we're going to lose a little bit of coal there, as you can see, though, when it lands on the on the concrete. Right, so we'll dig again till just about hit half an hour recording and then we'll do another bit of a tally and see how much money we can make. I'd like to set up a way for us to actually use the not the pay dirt or any other anything else like that, like the ores, but to use the dirt, set up a dump somewhere and repurpose it to push out a dump instead of selling it. Sort of what we do in real life, obviously we move the overburden to get to the coal. Or whatever it is you, you'll be chasing at the time. So a good way to be able to still be able to pick up all the dirt, but then we want to be able to move it on, repurpose it, fill back in holes we've dug out, whatever it may be. I don't know if we could actually yeah, see the storage there. I wish there was an output on the storage. We could set output only to, you know, dirt or something and turn it on and off so we can at a later date to start outputting dirt out of it into the back of a bigger haul truck and start dumping it over a tip head somewhere. That would be awesome if we could do that. Right, so it's still tier 5. It's going to take forever to get to tier 6. And then getting up toward it, towards tier 7 as well. As I said, putting it in that other coal plant behind us through there, Hopper, is way more productive than doing this. But it's just a long, long way to go. Obviously, the long-term goal would be everything goes through that, but... We have to set up a decent sort of conveyor system to get all the way down there. All 
Right, we're getting there with this little pit though. Hopefully we can sort of hit level 6 before we finish up. Get another 100k in the bank. We sort of need to not take out any more loans because that's a, a lot of money, like $1,000 a minute. So every episode we're going to lose 30 grand. If we're doing half an hour episodes. All I can hear in the background is the, the click. Every time our money just disappears. Getting through it. Slow, slow progress. Right, so we've got like another four or five minutes of digging and we'll see what we can come up with. For our time lapse, I think I want to do like an hour long time lapse and just cut it back down to like 10 minutes or so. So if we only have 100 grand in the bank, we'll say when I start our time lapse, we shouldn't have to stress too much about money and that sort of stuff that sort of thing so I won't have to try and sell mid time lapse I know you guys like to see exactly how much we make I'm not sure how far down this coal vein goes I sort of start to think we're at the bottom of it but then it pops up again I know it's probably just the pay dirt voxels hitting hitting the ground covering the coal itself but yeah, it looks like it's pretty bloody deep I don't know if I need to chuck a wall in there or something and stop those rocks from staying where they do. Just about ready to extend that floor a little bit as well. Alright, probably another three more buckets I'd say, and then we'll see what sort of money we've made. It's quite hard for me to ramble on with random stuff, not get you guys too bored. That's why time lapsing is good. When you're doing the same sort of repetitive stuff over and over and over again, time lapsing, not having to talk and throwing a bit of music in the background is perfect. I don't have to ramble on with all of random shit, pretty much. Missed a little bit. Alright, let's go for one more bucket. Starting to get a little bit foggy, actually. I don't want to adjust the um, weather too much either. I want to just let it stay automatic and normal. So you want to skip through the night time just cause, purely because of the darkness. When uploading to YouTube, look, it doesn't do well with darker videos. Right, so last bucket. 
I have to do another tidy up of that ramp, get some more blocks in, and then do our time lapse video for our next episode. Right, chuck that thing there. Let's go and have another look. Looks like we're doing okay. Getting through it pretty bloody good. Right, stock these bits in. Come on, get in the hole. Money that we need. Right, open that. Two and a half K of coal. Not quite as much as we had before. Store. No, can't do that yet. Got to remember to look away. Store, sell. 2.5 K is another 78. Back to 106. So we're getting through it slowly. As I said, we just need to continue to expand this out. Purely like this. Sometimes we've dug down deep enough we don't need to use that other method. Can we get that one in there? No, we have to use that fancy method. Alright, beautiful. So slowly progressing through. We'll keep heading this way. I said I'll do a time lapse and then we'll um, see how much money we make, but I'll have a quick look at how far this vein goes. So it goes a long way down, disappears off that way somewhere. This way, and then you can see it's still dark here, so I'm thinking it still continues to go all the way through here. Quite a bit. We didn't quite get tier 6, but we shouldn't take us too long, we should get to that stage. But right here, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the game so far, any ID suggestions. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruto, thanks for watching. See you again soon.